In this demo, we are going to cover the installation of the Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent in a Catman K switch using CLI. My name is Lila Rousseau. I'm a technical solutions architect. Before attempting the installation, we need to make sure we have access to the Thousand Eyes dashboard. Uh, we will be requiring data from the dashboard to proceed with the installation. In this case, we can see that I do have a few enterprise agents already in the dashboard, but I don't have my Cat9K in the Docker container. We are going to start by running the show app hosting list in CLI. This gives me the list of applications. In this case, I have none. And we are going also to look at Flash. Um, one of the requirements is to download the tar file from the Thousand Eyes dashboard and copied it in Flash. This step is something that I did before the demo. We can see that our agent, which is version 4.1, the tar file is already in Flash. The first step for the configuration is to enable the application hosting framework. And this is simply done by the IOX command. Application hosting framework is not enabled by default. So this is a step that we need to perform manually. Now we run the command show IOX service. This is an optional step, but this allows us to make sure that all the services are running and the application hosting framework has successfully been enabled. Next step is to install the application. We are going to have to assign a name for the application. In this case, I use thousand eyes underscore enterprise underscore agent. We will be referring to the name, to this particular name in other commands. So this is something that we need to note. And we are going to use the package that we already have in Flash. Once we run this command, we are ready to run another command, the show up hosting list like we ran before. And we are now seeing a different state. We see that this application has been deployed. Next step is to provide the networking configuration of the environment. We need to use an IP address for the Docker environment that is within a layer two VLAN that is already configured in the switch. So in my switch, I do have an existing VLAN 419. I have ports associated with that VLAN. So the VLAN is really active and it has active ports. And I do have my SVI configuration. So this is what I'm showing here. I'm having a VLAN 419 configuration with an IP address and a mask. And my environment, my Docker environment is going to use an IP address within this VLAN. For that, we need to configure the interface that we are using for the Docker environment, which is the app Gigabit Ethernet 101. And we are going to configure this interface as trunk, and it needs to allow the VLAN that we will be using for our environment. Again, in our example is 419. Next, we need to configure the application. And for the application, we need to specify the IP addressing for the Docker environment. Again, we are using an IP address within the VLAN that we specified before. And for that, I typically have a notepad or a text it with the configuration already there. And I copied and paste in the switch. So that's exactly what we are going to you to do in this particular um, in, in environment. So now our Thousand Eyes agent has an IP address. That IP address needs to be reachable with the Thousand Eyes dashboard. And we have the correct default gateway, the correct mask, and we can also specify the different name servers. Next, we need to assign or specify the Docker runtime options. The most important option is the token which we'll be getting from the dashboard. And this token is the one that is going to associate this particular agent with our account. So this is a key part of the configuration. 
Then we have other options like the host name. We can specify a particular string like we do here with cat9k Toronto Docker, or we can use the actual host name of the switch. If we have a proxy in our environment, it's also in the Docker runtime options where we specify this configuration. So I'm also going to use the pre-configured um, Docker runtime options that we see in my text edit file. However, the token hasn't been populated yet. We are going to populate it live in this demo. So first I'm going to copy the first two lines of this configuration and I'm going to then go ahead into the Thousand Eyes dashboard to grab the token. The token is populated from this first field where it says account group token and we are going to leverage the, cop the copy button that it's already available for us. Then in CLI I'm going to be copying such token and again, this is key to link this agent to our account. Now that the token has been configured, we can go ahead and copy and paste the rest of our Docker runtime options. Perfect. So now that's done, we need to start the application. And this is done by the start command within the application hosting uh, environment configuration. We are going to run the show application hosting list command one more time and we can see that once again the state change from deploy to running and we can also see at the bottom that the agent has been registered. Another very useful command is the show up hosting detail. And this is one of the commands that we are going to use the name that we assign to the applications. Again, in our example, thousand eyes underscore enterprise underscore agent. And we get a lot of details for our application, including the configuration, including different resources that uh, the application is using, including version and other configs as well. When configuring application hosting on the Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent manually using CLI, the actual configuration is part of the switch config. So another command that we can leverage is the show run pipe section application hosting, and we are going to see the full configuration of our Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent environment. Once we provide the full configuration, our IP address is reachable with the Thousand Eyes dashboard, we are going to see that the enterprise agent is going to automatically show up in our account. There's nothing that we need to manually do. We see that the last line is our Docker container, which has been configured, is now reachable, and it shows in the dashboard.